Hey, it's Daniel from Filmora.io. Today we're going to talk about video thumbnails on YouTube. The thumbnails you use for your YouTube videos are a huge part of getting people to actually click and watch your content. A great thumbnail will help your video stand out in a viewer's search results. Instead of being just one in a series of images they're looking at, you want their eyes to be immediately drawn to the thumbnail for your video. Here are five simple guidelines you can use when designing your thumbnails. Show what your video is about. Make sure your thumbnail clearly communicates the content of your video. If your video is mostly a talking head shot, you talking to the camera about a topic, then that's what your thumbnail needs to show. If you're reviewing a product in your video, then you should show that product. Ideally, you'll already know while you're filming your video what kind of title you want to use. If you know that, you're more able to plan a click-worthy thumbnail pose that will complement your title. I like to let the camera roll while I make extreme faces that are related to the title I already have in mind. Use consistent layout. It's a good idea to pick one thumbnail style and stick to it. This doesn't mean every one of your thumbnails needs to look exactly the same, but you should try to reuse similar layouts and colors. The reason you want to reuse a similar thumbnail style over and over is because this will strengthen your personal brand. Viewers will be able to recognize your videos immediately when they see that familiar thumbnail layout. Reusing the same layout doesn't mean you can't get creative. By playing with layers, by using a combination of different images like settings and objects related to the topic of your video, you'll be able to both create a more interesting thumbnail and clearly communicate the content of your video to potential viewers. Use your face! One of the best ways to draw eyes to your thumbnail is to have eyes in your thumbnail. People are automatically attracted to eye contact. Using your face, or even the face of a game character, will get you more attention than just text on a background. Your facial expression is also an important tool when it comes to generating interest in your video. A puzzled or surprised expression will make viewers curious about why you're surprised or puzzled. This works especially especially well when paired with the video title or thumbnail caption that asks a question viewers might want to click to find the answer to. Like something that starts with, is this really? Or can you believe? Add small graphics. Emojis, hearts, sparkles, and other small graphics can be a great way to add a splash of color to your thumbnail and make it a bit more eye-catching. Just be careful not to overcrowd your image. Your text should be huge. If you're going to write something on your thumbnail, remember that it's going to get shrunk down a lot after you upload it. You'll need to use a large font so that viewers can read it clearly when it's scaled down. Adding a background or outline to your text can also help to make it more readable. Because your text will be be so large, you won't have room to write a lot. Short messages are also better because viewers can read them at a glance. Try not to write more than three words on a video thumbnail. That's all for now. How do you make your video thumbnails? Let me know in the comments and make sure to subscribe. See you next time.